Hi, well, I'm back again for a quick second. Um, this has actually been boiling in my mind for a while. I know I said that in the last sermon, but it's about wanting to get healed. Now listen very closely. When Jesus died on the cross, he basically was representing, I don't care whose fault it is. I just want my children to be healed. If God cared about whose fault it was, it would be us hanging on that cross for our own sins. But we don't have to hang on that cross because he already did. So this thing is about prayer. Some of you guys don't even know how to pray. Let me tell you something, there's no rules you just pray. No matter how dirty it is, no matter even if it is your fault or you feel like you sound like an accuser, God doesn't care. He already knows how you feel and what you're thinking. So sometimes it's pride that we don't tell him how we're really feeling. And this is an example. I'm going to give you a real example of what my prayers are like. I'm going to make up these names though. So it's not you if this is your name or someone you know. This is just a made-up name straight from my head, all right? This is how I pray. God, like, I'm, I'm just, I'm not having a good time right now. Like, I'm, I'm struggling. Like, this person over here, they piss me off, man. Like, I, I don't like that person. I don't even know why you made, why you created that person because they pissed me off so bad. I like, I hate that person right now. They're just being so mean. They're being so rude and so nasty. I don't even like their face. <laughs> I don't even like their face, man. They just, oh, I just wish, I just, man, I just want to go over and throw a brick at their face right now. I know I'm terrible. I'm terrible, but it's just that's just how I feel right now, man. It's just what they did to me. I just I won't. I don't want to forgive them. I hope they burn in hell. Now I know that's really intense. It trust me, it's a lot worse than that at times. But God already knows you're thinking that. He already knows what you think about those people or the person that's in your house. My prayers are like that to even the people that I love. But you know what that is called? That's called laying it down, laying it at the altar. Some of you think you have to, you have to come before God and you have to... And even if you're feeling these things towards others, you have to you have to kind of butter it up, make it feel like you don't have to feel like a bad person when you pray. But you are a bad person. We all are bad people. He died for us sinners. God wants you to come to him with everything, all your emotions, all your junk everything come to him how do you really feel about your parents your mother-in-law not growing up with parents your uncle your whoever it is your boss he really wants to hear these things he wants to know what you really think about that and do it by faith go into a place that's quiet you don't have to do it around people he loves he wants to hear you speak he already knows you feel this way he already knows it and when you pray and you confess these things, because it's a confession to him in private with no one's around, you're showing him that you believe that he can heal those areas. And you surrender that. That's surrendering it, confessing it, surrendering it into his presence by praying and doing it. To do it, you're showing faith. You give those things to him and he makes you a new creation. He allows, he gives you his eyes, his ears, his wisdom and understanding to help you love that person like he does. 
But if you don't pray with honesty in your heart, sometimes I've cursed at God or about, like I just said, you know. But if you don't show God those sides of you, he will never be able to take that burden off of you of what this person has done to you or these people and all this stuff. He won't be able to take that off and give you grace in that area of your life. I've prayed a lot about my past, about what my parents did to me or my brothers or whomever, the military. And still I pray with honesty to God. David did the same thing. He was honest before the Lord. And God wants you to be honest for him. And until you are honest, he can't and won't restore you. So with that being said, when you come before God, you come before him be honest be honest he doesn't want you in pain he wants you healed he doesn't care whose fault it is he just wants you to be healed be honest of what they did to you to him he knows he knows but he wants you to humble yourself so you can confess those things. It's not right what those people did to you. It's not right how you feel. He knows that. But he's saying, do you trust me enough to confess those things to me? And then, and only then, will I heal you. God bless. We're going to enter in a time of worship. Father, help us lay it down. In Jesus' name, amen.